Rob, great to talk to you. Uh, great tell to us talk a little. Tell us a little bit about Too Simple. Who so, are they? Too Simple is a self-driving commercial truck company. Uh, we here are today with our LT International. Uh, last year at CES, we were displaying our Peterbilt. So we're working with two OEMs in the U.S. Uh, these bad boys are uh, running in and around Arizona, um, also to Nevada. And part of our news this today, or actually announced Monday, was a uh, route to Texas. So uh, even though they're in the test phase, we're actually making uh, making money uh, with 12 customers. Uh, they're big big names, big brands, but we, we can't tell you who they are right now, but eventually we'll get there. Uh, we're a three-year-old company, uh, we're around 400 employees. We're headquartered in San Diego, and uh, like I said, we have our testing and development center in Tucson. And is it just trucks, or is it cars, or what is yeah, it? Yeah, it's just trucks. So we think that the, the best business use case for, uh, if you're familiar with the SE levels four, so uh, driverless, only where we map it, is a great application for long haul trucks. Uh, there's a 50,000 uh, truck driver shortage right now. Uh, it's only growing. The average age of a trucker in the US is around 49 years old. I, I know it's similar in the UK. Uh, so we're trying to solve a problem for the market. You know, e-commerce has grown. The stress on the transportation system is only in, only increasing, and we want to you know create the modern railroads for the future. Oh, it's interesting because we were at the Daimler, at the Daimler press event, and they said yeah. they're missing level three out. They're going from two to four. Yeah, three, that... will, three will kill us all. No, anyone doing level three, don't listen to them. Yeah. Yeah. So your four is your thinking yeah. is it two and four? We're we're just focused on four, but I understand why people are also looking at two. As well. And what do you think the time frame is for the industry in terms of four and and potentially so five? I, we feel strongly, and our CTO will back me up here from a technology perspective. Uh, we will be ready in two years. But from a partner perspective, OEMs and tier ones, I could say that around three years. Uh, luckily, with the support of the U.S. Department of Transportation, the regulatory environment has actually come, become very open, and you know we're collaborative and we're working towards a regulatory framework in the U.S. for all 50 states. So it is not tomorrow, I tell people, but is it in the near future where you're going to see these uh, operating on the road on a regular basis? And the last question is obviously it's class eight. Yeah. What about the work truck side of it? Five to seven is a is a more feeling that that's a little bit more difficult to do because obviously they're more urbanized. Yeah, um, I, my engineers hate when I say this because what we do is very difficult, but it is easier than the alternative. And, uh, and there's, you know, it's a $700 billion market in the U.S. and half of that is long haul. So there's plenty of business for a long time. And, you know, if we ever get to a point where we're expanding vehicle classes and vehicle types, that, that will be a, that's a good problem to have. Brilliant. Okay, Rob, thanks for your time. Cheers. Cheers, man.